All right, guys. I'm not going to waste any of your time. Let's do this shit. You guys know I read all of your guys' comments. So, yeah, leave comments, man. Every time I do all of these community posts. First question. Which of these cards will likely to get reprinted in Commander Masters? <laughs> Pretty obvious right now, right? Because all the free spells are getting reprinted. You guys, I guess everyone kind of like knew that all of those cards are getting reprinted, right? Um, but as of right now, um, the whole set is not spoiled yet. Uh, so, well, I like Fetch Land is still up there. Dark Side Extortionist uh, is still up there. Maybe Mana Crip. We'll see. We'll see. We will see, you know, because the price of the boxes, whew, still that high, man. Um, yeah, I don't know. A lot of people, a lot of people cancel their orders, man. It's crazy, you know. It's ridiculous. <laughs> All right. Second question. Can Commander Masters match the same hype in Lord of the Rings? Obviously, as of right now, um, yeah, definitely not, man. Not even close. Not even close. Yeah, serialized cars, man. All those soul rings and the one of one ring cannot match, man. Yeah, not even close. Especially right now that all of those uh, uh, people that canceled their orders because of what they saw on the reprinted cards. Oh, it's it's crazy, man. It is it's crazy. Yeah. Uh, all right, next question. Oh, this is interesting. Do you support proxy MBG? Do you proxy? Huh? Do you proxy? <laughs> um, yeah, definitely, man. In my opinion, for me, yeah, I definitely support it, man. When I started playing Magic when I was a kid, um, you know, we write all those. Um, we we take like a basic clan or just like a common card, and we write. You know, Shivan Dragon or any any card that we can't really afford back in the day. Uh, obviously, right now, you know, you can print you know high quality. Um, but then again, you know, it's it's dev. It's not the for me. It's the when you do those kind of stuff or we if you buy those uh, cards, proxy cards. Um, the intent of of you just really just for play because you can't afford it not for resale so yeah a lot of you guys definitely support proxy as well so that is really really good and i kind of like this comment over here by ralph the gnome i support it only because there's no reason a player should have to cough up a ton of money to not get destroyed by players who have or who have played longer in competition no proxy with FNF or at LGS full speed ahead. There you go. Um, oh, I like this comment as well by MF Doom 1898. I don't. Oh, he did. He does not support proxy, but I definitely see why players would. Who the hell wants to spend a ton of money on something that will be worthless in months? Yeah. <laughs> Oh man, it is crazy. Oh, this one too by Joe Britton 8451. Yes, most people don't want to play with expensive cards. Wear and tear, man. Yeah, especially those um reserved expensive reservedist cards. Yeah, it's um yeah. nobody wants to play with them and expensive. All right, next question. Oh man, this is going to be good. MTG Pokémon Yu-Gi-Oh other TCGs are considered an investment. Well, this is very interesting because it's uh, somewhat split over here. Um, I can see this being like a, a huge deal later down the road, uh, especially with vintage. Any vintage, you know, when if you look at uh, sports cards, if you look at anything that is like you know oil painting, um, anything vintage really uh, will have like some type of value uh, long term, you know, but as of right now, especially if the, you know, uh, if it's like really modern, uh, we, we don't we don't see it yet. But, you know, um, I, I definitely see all of these other TCGs, especially the the big, I think, well, what the big four, you know, Magic, Pokemon, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, I don't know what it was, the other one. Um, but yeah, 
uh, I can definitely see uh, the vintage will have um, a value long term for sure. Um, and I like the the comment of of MF Doom again, eighteen ninety eight. He's he's definitely uh, doing a lot of <laughs> putting a lot of comments over here, man. Uh, definitely, but it depends on what exactly. But for sure, can invest in any of those TCGs. Yep, hands down, bro. Hands down. All right, so last question. Oh, I like this one. Very uh, tinfoil hat, right? <laughs> Are MTG booster boxes really random or rigged? Oh, yeah, a lot of you guys says yes. Um, yes, being it's random. Um, a lot of controversial on this one because um, look at this. I like this comment again. By MF Doom 1898. I believe just like any other card market, there are definitely loaded boxes. Also, if they were really random, they would be boxes with no hits and boxes with a lot of hits. Kind of like how MetaZoo performs. I don't know about MetaZoo, man. I never really opened uh, MetaZoo. Uh, check this comment as well by Liquid Panda. 85884. What's going on? I've done this mat several times. Wow. Okay. I typically pull around three or four mythics per booster box. Sometimes that feels not so random. Hmm. Okay. Okay. All right. Oh, this is one is very interesting. I like this comment by Hector de Jesus 9194. I had two Modern Horizon 2 set booster boxes, man. Ooh, nice. Love that set. Bought on the same day, and both boxes were exactly the same. Ooh, from the commons to the mythics, except for the less slot and foils. I was very as upset at first, but I did get some really good pulls. That is very weird, man. You're getting the same exact card down to the commons. Maybe basic lines too? That is crazy, man. <laughs> that is crazy. All right. Oh, this one is, I like this comment as well. I told you I read all the comments, man. By Richie Dubs. What is up, man? I am a huge conspiracy-minded person. Trust no one. Trust no one. <laughs> and I've actually never really felt like it wasn't random. Plus, I've heard mass box openers. <laughs> Say once you open enough boxes, everything levels out the way you would expect. I am curious about the ring, though. Uh, if it was really randomly distributed from the full Lord uh, shipment, or if it was inserted another way, we will never know. But yeah, um, so having opened like a bazillion boxes, you know, like mass box opening uh, of different sets, uh, I can definitely see. Um, that's why a lot of people do it because when you open a lot of boxes, uh, down to the commons, uncommons, foil, uh, rares, mythics, you know, like as long as you have them, uh, it's, it's a long game, man. This is a, this is a marathon. So some commons will pop some commons, some random foils, you know, so even if like, yeah, in the beginning, right, you know, mass box opening, current price, uh, eventually some of those cars, man, will pop. So, yeah, that's why I like holding them and listing them. Um, but, yeah, definitely once you open a lot of boxes, you know, for sure, it, it will, the price will definitely level out. So, yeah. So that is going to be it, man. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And, yeah, if you do. Please consider liking and subscribing and leave a comment, man. I'm, I'm pretty sure you guys are interested in like different uh, topics as well. Um, so, yeah, have a good day. Hang out. Peace.